What's going on everybody? This is Adam Song with Song Blade Company. We're located at the Raleigh Fairgrounds Flea Market inside the Education Building. Open every Saturday and Sunday between 9 and 5. But uh, today I'm here at my humble home and I just want to take a couple minutes to share with you a uh, very, very exquisite katana that we were also able to procure this week along with the previous shown uh, Tora Ryu katana that uh, I previously posted on our page. Um, this one is called the Taito, which uh, in Japanese translate roughly to Cloud Dragon Katana. This one was made in 2009, so it's five years old, and is no longer in production, which makes it rare. If you go to any website, you can't find it, I promise. If it's an old picture of it, if you try to order it, I promise it's discontinued. So the only ones that you'll find are from a private collector or a shop like Song Blade Company where I'm offering it for a cheaper price than it originally was retail. But um, skipping all that and getting to this masterpiece katana, uh, I present to you the Taito. It's really um, ironic because it comes in this very, very plain, um, inexpensive cotton sleeve bag, which kind of betrays what's hidden inside. But I think that's actually kind of cool. Um, but this is simply a masterpiece. Okay, the first thing, of course, that everyone knows is about it is the hand-carved, hand-painted wooden scabbard with the uh, depiction of the dragon. Uh, it's kind of a Chinese long dragon, Japanese dragon uh, flying through the clouds. It's amazing. And opposed to being a uh, black or a red or a blue color like you see most katana, uh, really, I love the earth tones of this katana. The... Um, Traditional wrap here is uh, also um, soap as opposed to uh, traditional cotton ito, uh, which makes it a little bit more luxurious. Um, the guard, the suba, is actually copper on this as opposed to bronze. Uh, of course, it's very skin wrapped uh, and double pegged. But the real star of this title is the blade. blade on this title is 1095 carbon steel. It is the hardest steel that I am able to get. Uh, as you can see, I have hand polished this to a mirror polish and it has real clay tempering, a uh, real hormone. I think you can maybe pick it up a little bit in the video. Yes, there it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, the Kasaki the tip of this is armor piercing. It uh, flares a, just a tiny little bit and then tapers to a very, very, very sharp point. But while the Kasaki is impressive, the hot, the actual edge of it, is the sharpest sword that we have in the shop. <laughs> it's sharper than razor sharp. It's sharper than uh, paper cutter sharp. This is surgical sharp. Like, an ER doctor could perform a open heart transplant with this. <laughs> so the other thing that really, really impresses me about this one is unlike the Tora Ryu, this one is actually very, very, very super well balanced. They both weigh the same. They're both about the same length. But while the Tora Ryu is a little bit hefty, it feels a little bit hefty in your hand, this one feels like it weighs nothing because the balancing is so good. This one could actually literally be wielded one hand. I know there are some Japanese uh, Kenjutsu uh, fighting styles where they actually train with a sword one-handed or you couldn't fight with a katana and a wakazashi. This would definitely be the one to fit that bill. So uh, this one comes just as it is uh, with the beautiful scabbard, the plain uh, so, I'm sorry, the plain cotton bag. <laughs> and also, I'm sorry, I almost forgot one very, very important selling point. The certificate of authenticity. Um, it says that it is 1095 carbon steel. It's got the signature, the chop of the sword maker. Uh, it has the build date. It says exactly how long it took to build. Um, it has the dimensions and the weight of the sword. The weight of the sword is 3.11 pounds. 
but like I said, it feels like it weighs nothing because the balance is so good. So this is also included uh, along with the uh, plain cotton bag, the sword, and the gorgeous scabbard. So the title will be available in the shop. I originally saw these retail. This was the most expensive sword that I was able to get at one point. I was retailing for $750. This one is in better than perfect condition, better than it came from the manufacturer, from the forger, because uh, it's been given the SBC treatment, hand sharpened, um, hand polished, and it's just gorgeous. It's a masterpiece. This would be the flagship of anyone's collection. The SBC price of this is $500. And this is really, like I said, I originally retailed them for $750. It's really a thousand dollar sword. So someone's gonna get it for a steal for $500. The first person who wants it gets it. And remember your Facebook friend discount. If you uh, decide you would like to purchase it, you can get 10% off that, which would bring this to $450, which is really just above um, my cost. <laughs> so go check out the title at uh, SBC this weekend. You guys uh, stay tuned and stay sharp.